Hello everyone, this is 21.6 angiosperms. Let's start with an overview. Angiosperms are the most diverse among the seed plant lineages. And angiosperms are the only plants that make flowers and fruits. What is a flower? Flower is a shoot. A reproductive shoot. What does a shoot mean? Shoot means an organ system. So a flower is an organ system. It's a specialized for reproduction. Let's look at the parts of the flower. The anatomy of a flower. First, it's the sepals. The sepals are the green structures here they look like leaves so they are leaf-like green structures they ring the base that means they surround the base like a ring and they enclose the flower like when the flower is still uh, small or still growing at the beginning uh, the the sepals are enclosing the flower and when the flower opens um, you can see the petals then what's a petal the petals are the colored and scented part of the flower that means it's the it's the part that has the smell and the color and it surrounds two important structures that are the stamen and the carpel let's start with the stamen the yellow structure you see in the figure here this is the stamen this is the male part of the flower it's made up of two uh, uh, parts the anther and the filament the filament simply it's a long tall stalk the anther which is the tip of the stamen it is the part that holds four pollen sacs so the pollens are released from the anther of the stamen what about the female part of the flower it is called the carpel it is the innermost part so this is the carpel it's the innermost part of the flower it captures the pollen and it produces eggs at the bottom a carpel consists of three parts the stigma the style and an ovary at the base of the style the style this is the style it's a stalk and below the style is the ovary and the ovary is what contains the ovules and the eggs inside and at the top of the style there is the stigma and the stigma is specialized for receiving the pollen angiosperms the word angiosperms comes from the meaning that the seed is enclosed in a chamber because angiosperms their seeds are inside a fruit so the seeds are inside the fruits that means angio is it means chamber like room and sperma means seed so it's seeds inside a chamber after fertilization the ovule itself is going to become the seed and the ovary is what going to be the fruit so the ovule after fertilization is going to become the seed and the ovary is given is going to become the fruit and inside the seed is the embryo of the baby plant